and today Fibonacci coding. We will also extend it to negative Fibonacci sequence. All right, to start with, we have to understand what's Fibonacci sequence. This is a sequence of numbers where to each element of the sequence corresponds some element which is defined by this formula. This actually means that, for example, this element of Fibonacci sequence uh, is the sum of two previous elements and consequently this element is the sum of this element and this element. You can continue this sequence, try to think yourself the eighth number of Fibonacci sequence, how much it will be. It will be actually 21. And as I said, negative Fibonacci sequence can be derived from Fibonacci sequence knowing this formula. The formula is also slightly different. Uh, let's say we've got, uh, let's have an example. We have an arbitrary um, chosen number, let's say it will be f from n, this one, 2. Thus, uh, we have a negative numbers, thus n plus 2 will be uh, minus 1, because we are here, currently we are here. This is our n, so n plus 2 is minus 1, and uh, n plus 1 is minus 1, so uh, thus we produce minus, uh, no, 1 minus minus 1 equals 1 plus 1 equals 2, thus we have here 2. You can try it yourself. If my previous example was not very convincing, I have prolonged our sequence a little bit further and now I've prepared a table with examples where you can clearly see the pattern. So f from n, arbitrary number, uh, equals previ uh, two previous number numbers in this sequence, because if you do it like that, in negative sequence, you will have bigger numbers so to the left. Uh, you can see this example 5 equals 2 minus minus 3 from here. 5 equals 2 minus this. F n plus 2, F n plus 1. And that's it. You can follow this pattern if you have to prolong your sequence or whatever. I think it's clear now. Once again, Fibonacci and negative Fibonacci are very similar and actually they are the same formula but after some derivations uh, using math and uh, um, once again Fibonacci sequence is made from uh, two pre each consequent symbol in Fibonacci sequence is made from two previous elements and uh, in negative Fibonacci also the same but in a slightly different manner. Okay, for the sake of simplicity I've made our Fibonacci sequence uh, but not negative Fibonacci, we will first work with integers, with non-negative numbers. Okay, and uh, here's a very important concept uh, on which actually Fibonacci and negative Fibonacci coding is built on. This is Teckendorf representation. Teckendorf representation. I don't think it's very important to know uh, how it's called, but uh, what it does, it it's actually a theorem which has shown that any number co co consists of the sum of the Fibonacci numbers. So, any number, let's say 1523 and 15, they all consist of Fibonacci numbers. And we can take any number, absolutely from the head, let's say 63. It can be represented as the sum of the Fibonacci numbers that do not follow each other consequently, symbol after symbol. There will always be one slot between them, at least one slot. And uh, I will show it on examples that it actually works. First example with 1000 is very easy. We, to make a Zeckendorf representation, we first find the biggest Fibonacci number our number we are working with contains. In case of 1000 it's 900. 87 and then we once again look for another biggest to 
to make this sum work and to make 1000 for example I will make the, all the examples and you will see what I mean 523 it's slightly more complicated example once again we are looking for the biggest Fibonacci number in the sequence it's, uh, which is still smaller than 523 still smaller than our number we are looking at uh, then we subtract from the number, uh, from the actual number 523, we subtract the biggest Fibonacci number which uh, it contains. Uh, then we continue with the remainder, it's 146, we subtract 144, produce 2, and uh, uh, this is Tekendorf representation of 523. I think you can work out these examples yourself, but I will give the examples now. These ones are pretty easy. I think you have code to do it yourself. Okay, now when you have a grasp of what's second door for presentation, I am giving you a formal definition of the Fibonacci and Nega Fibonacci encoding scheme. So, first two steps are actually second door for presentation. How to build second door for presentation? Two first steps refer to this. And then starting from F2, add 1 for each number appearing in a sequence and 0 if it's not appearing. Add 1 to the very end. Uh, you can write it down if you need, but after me showing you some examples, if it's not clear yet, you will understand it very good. Okay, first example will be number 54. We could actually take any number, but I have continued our sequence up to 55 and that is 54 okay so biggest number is 34 for now uh, now we are looking for second door for presentation right 34 plus 20 minus 13 plus 5 plus 2 okay let's check out what have we have done this will be 7, 20, 20 plus 34 is 54. Alright, we, we have done it right. Now we formulate the code. I always make this mistake, but not for not now. Small number. Big number. Alright. Uh, 34 was F9. We move from F2 to F9. F2. Do we have F2? No. We put 0. We have F3 because we have 2. Alright, let's put 1. Do we have F4? No, we don't. 0. F5, we have 5. F6, 0. F7, 1. 8, 0. So this is our code. We can never face consequent ones in normal case. This is like sanity check. If you have uh, two ones, consequent ones like this, or at least two, and the three, it's total disaster already. Um, it means that you have done something wrong, probably with your second door for presentation. You never get consequent numbers, Fibonacci numbers, which represent uh, your number you're trying to encode. You only face consequent ones at the end. That means that it ends this one one sequence. It ends your code stream. Made another more easy example on the right uh, with 12. Yeah, you can see the code yourself. We will now try to make some examples with Nega Fibonacci coding. And the last example for the Nega Fibonacci sequence, we produce our numbers in similar fashion and here are the codes. We just take minus 8, which refers to the 6th position in our sequence. This is the ending 1, this is the 6th position, minus 8 to produce minus 11. So minus 8, 0 refers to 5, it's not included into the sequence, minus 3, here we have 1, it's included into the sequence and zero 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 this zero is never included into the sequence and thus we produce our number 
and uh, in the similar fashion for minus 14, etc.